Do you ever feel like every time you go to sit down to practice, you just play the same fill or you just play something that you already know? Instead, we need to focus on something that'll help make us a much better drummer. But what is it and how do we do it? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly the steps you need to take to do that. Welcome, my name's Cam Fleury, and if this is your first time here, on this channel, I create drum lessons, entertainment videos, and well, pretty much anything to do with drumming. Let's get to it. first thing we need to do is put together some goals and a list of things we want to accomplish to get to that goal. I know what you're thinking, if you're not very organized then, well, what does it matter? I just want to play. Okay, so hear me out. Let's say our goal is to play blast beats at 200 BPM. Okay, so that is our goal, but how are we going to get there? How are we going to keep track of where we're going and how much time we've actually spent to accomplish this objective? I've gone ahead and created a PDF practice log that you can download down in the description below and you can print it out for yourself and keep track of everything. Now that you've begun to fill out your practice log, get behind the drum set and the next step is going to be to warm up for about five to ten minutes. The point of doing this is so that you can actually get warm. It's kind of like how athletes and people who lift weights stretch before they do their task. We're doing this so we can help prevent any sort of injury while playing the drums. During this five to ten minutes playing around the drum set, you want to keep in mind that if there's anything that catches you off guard or anything that you're having troubles playing, that is the stuff you want to remember because that is the information we need to work on. The next thing we need to incorporate into our practice routine to make us a better drummer is definitely a metronome. If you're practicing any rudiments or any stickings or any beats in particular, you want to make sure you practice with a metronome. Now why is that? Well, metronomes don't lie and unfortunately, it can really bring out some bad flaws in us. It can be really embarrassing when you play a drum part and you think you've got it and you've got it down pat and then you go to play it with a metronome and the metronome is just like, nah man, that is really bad. So that's why it's important because then we learn the structure of it and we can actually develop our own groove off the space and time in between each note. Next thing we need to incorporate inside of our practice is playing along to other styles of music. I cannot stress this enough. Now me, myself being a metal drummer, I actually started learning funk and jazz and world rhythms. You're probably thinking, well, what's the benefit of that? It's kind of cheesy, it's not as cool, not as much street cred. Well, playing other styles, you'll actually discover new parts of songs and rhythms that you'd never actually comprehend and learn before just playing one style. Think about all the opportunities you can learn to actually be more free with your instrument and hone your craft by playing other styles of music. It's one thing to be able to play at one tempo and be really good at one style of music, but Music is made up of three things, melody, harmony, and rhythm. Drum set is primarily rhythm, so why not learn what all of rhythm has to offer? This idea is pretty important because you can learn a lot about your technique and your playing without even having to get any critical feedback from other players. Through audio and video on your phone, you'll be able to distinguish exactly what it is that you need work on. You don't need no fancy studio, bunch of microphones and stuff, you just need a phone and then something to hold it up to actually see what you're playing. Through audio and video, you'll actually be able to distinguish what it is that you need to be working on for your drumming. If we're tense in the shoulders or if our fingers and hands aren't working properly, you'll definitely see that. Which brings me on to the next section is drum set posture. It is very, very overlooked and a lot of people don't really consider it when they're putting in a practice plan to help them get better. Now our posture when we're playing actually determines how much and how little tension we have in our playing and you'll be able to hear that in a drummer's ability to play behind the drum set. The more tense they are you're going to notice a lot tighter sounding stuff and you know maybe they won't be able to play as fluidly and have some different musical choices in that regard. Be sure that you're sitting upright, you're not slouching and you're not going like this through your drum fills and then trying to actually force it out in your playing. The more control we have behind the drum set the more speed we can generate and the more speed we can generate you see where I'm going with this? Tension in your drumming is bad. Relaxed is great. Loosen up and keep up the hard work. It can be easy to get frustrated and upset with our playing. Give yourself a pat on the back. After all, we are playing the best instrument in the world. Oftentimes, if I find myself frustrated with a part I can't nail, then I'll just get up, I'll go downstairs, I'll take the dog outside for a walk for about half an hour, come back up inside into the drum studio and then try it again and then usually that works. Sometimes you just gotta clear your mind of all of the frustrations that you've encountered and come back to it with a clear mentality and a fresh start. Now if you like that video then I'll put a playlist up here of a bunch of other drum lesson videos that are on this channel. 
Of course, if you like this video, hit subscribe, press like, it really helps me out. And also, I've got a private Facebook group called Drum Lessons Tips and Tricks. I'll link it down in the description. It's kind of like a private community of people sharing their ideas and, and helping other drummers out. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Cameron, and I'll see you in the next video.